hello everyone good morning for those who are on live after a long time we are coming back to another episode of uh, exams through the royal college of surgeons and today i have with me dr praveen rajesh uh, it has been very difficult to get his schedule for this interview it's been a quite something he's a very busy man so sir can you give a short intro about yourself uh hi vinay so um, uh basically uh, i've completed my uh, bds and mbs from india and uh, in uh, 2014 after my mbs i was uh, always looking for some uh, you know recognition uh, to you know move out of india because at that point of time i wanted to go out of india but unfortunately i, rec- I realized that many countries don't recognize our mbs degree mm-hmm. and um, you know i to a, i went to a point where i thought you know 3 years of mbs was a waste of time so that's when i f- uh, came across the uh, mndo rcs examinations conducted by the royal college of surgeons in edinburgh glasgow and england and uh, they have an 3 uh, day examination which will qualify you um to an uk uh, specialist level right so uh, okay. it's almost like you can practice in the uk okay. um i mean you can be qualified as a specialist in the uk with this degree okay. so it had a, a huge international recognition especially in the middle east in uh, malaysia hong kong singapore and uh, of course in the uk okay. right so uh, i completed that in uh, 2018 and uh, ever since that we have been helping a lot of uh, students and uh, uh, people who are trying to um, clear this exam they have been approaching us and we've been helping them train for this exam mm-hmm. Uh, apart from that i have been uh, working uh, at micro smiles it's an uh, exclusive uh, microscopic uh, restorative dentistry clinic located in chennai uh, since 2019 okay. okay so that's about myself wow so quite a great intro sir about yourself so m endo as most of us know here it can be done only after your post graduation in endodontics right so do you have any right. uh, specific experience time post your pg to write this exam or it can be done immediately that is my first question and the follow up question is that like or you said you can practice right with mndo on in the international level so can you practice right. even in the uk without the ore sir because anyway when people want to migrate to the uk the first thing which they get to know is that if they want to practice or practice on patients they need to clear the ore yeah you're right so uh for the first question um whether um you, you need to uh, what qualification you need to uh, give this exam is you need to complete 36 months of training uh, okay. in that chosen speciality uh it could be uh, prosto endo perio okay uh, ortho maxillofacial surgery any any speciality of your uh, choice uh, wherever you have got trained in you will be able to give this uh, exam so it will be called appropriately m prosto m perio m o m f s okay and uh, for this you can give this exam in second uh, after you complete second year of your mbs okay right? okay since 36 months is required you have to complete you have to be doing an mbs course in okay. india and or anywhere abroad okay and uh, if you complete two years you can give it in your final year of your mbs uh, okay uh, curriculum right you complete 36 months by the end of three years correct yeah yeah so we complete uh, 36 and um, if you have done abroad also you can do this exam but you need a, a signature from your uh, course supervisor that you've com- you're doing a 36 month supervised training okay, okay so it, so if you have done an online uh, mbas or somewhere like university of manchester gives a lot of online training so those kind of trainings are not recognized uh, as 36 months of training mm-hmm. right yeah so that's what uh, basically in short you need an mds or you can prepare by uh-huh. yes okay yes mds or if there is a course which is training you um, hands on for 3 years uh-huh. uh then you 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 know you can actually give this exam but it should be a 3 year uh, supervised training course okay sir uh, so what is going to be the exam like format and you know how much preparation time you require so whenever people ask me about the the preparation time for the exam right some of them are either you know practicing dentistry some of them are working in an academic institution 
or some of them are just waiting only to prepare for this exam so such people it takes a shorter time right because they are focused only to finish this exam so suppose someone like you who is like working as well as you know so you doing a lot of things right so how much right. time will it take for you to prepare for this exam so uh, like oh, i mentioned sorry, the ideal time to give sorry to interrupt i know it varies from person to person but you know an approximate right. time okay so like i mentioned before this is an exam which is designed to be given in the uh, final year of a pg so ideally it should be done as soon as possible after your mds mm-hmm. if not still no worries uh, we have trained candidates who have finished their mds way back in 2005 and 2006 so literally 17 years ago and they can still give this exam all that they need to do is to prepare for the last 3 to 5 months before the exam No and uh, they need to put in at least 4 to 6 hours a day okay okay, okay. so if you are able to f- uh, make 4 hours or at least 4 hours per day mm-hmm. for 3 to 6 months uh, you should be able to you know clear this exam okay so i i don't recommend you leaving your practice just for practicing this uh, just for doing this exam you can keep practicing just maybe cut down your working hours a little and put in some uh, extra effort especially in the last uh, a couple of weeks or couple of uh, i mean at least one month before the date of your exam uh, i would recommend uh, you know going at least 6 to 8 hours a day okay. almost like how you prepared for your final mds exam correct correct and what about the exam components of the theory and a practical part or is, what are the yeah. types of questions they ask all right so uh, since uh, till 2019 they had six components in the exam okay so now they have boiled it down to three components only so it's more easier nowadays so uh, you know earlier they, we needed to give uh, we needed to record cases in our clinic and present it to them we had to record four cases which was quite a hassle because they had a lot of guidelines and they're very you know tough people they scrutinize your cases a lot mm-hmm. but luckily from 2019 we, we don't have to do that um, so the three components go like this the first component is your theory theory uh, is a saq pattern saq means short answer questions basically they'll give you a case scenario and they'll give you four to five questions which is um, related to that case scenario okay and each question will carry about two to six marks and then they'll score you up accordingly so there'll be two papers and um, one will happen in the morning and one will happen in the afternoon okay now this is a the theory part now coming to the uh next day the day 2 will be a long case uh, uh scenario basically they'll give you 15 minutes of um time to go through a set of case records including photographs uh, x-rays and sometimes models as well and you need to go through it make a diagnosis and treatment planning for that case and you'll have to attend a 15 minute viva right so this will happen four times on day 2 oh okay then day 3 you will have eight cases uh, four in the morning four in the uh, afternoon where four where uh, you will be given around 7 uh, and 1/2 minutes per case to uh, discuss with the examiner here you don't have any time to go through the case prior the, the examiner will show it to you like a spotter and he'll ask you what is this what is that like you know like rapid fire mm-hmm. uh, so yeah so that's about uh, the exam pattern so once you clear the theory alone and this uh, unseen cases part the long and the short cases alone mm-hmm. then you pass the exam okay uh, you have to clear both these components alone if you fail in either of these components you will have to repeat this exam both. the theory component can be carried over to the okay, next year. okay 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 all right but the the viva or the unseen case viva components cannot be carried over not be carried over right? yeah that's nice so and uh, i very well know about your uh, initiative the royal dream right so which helps students prepare for the various examinations conducted exclusively by the royal college of uh, surgeons uh, of the various right. uh, edinburgh glasgow ireland so can you briefly tell me about what you are doing so that it will be useful yeah so uh, royal dream um well, is just the name we have given to the uh, you know to the training that we have been doing unofficially from many years Okay. so we have officially named it royal dream now last from the last two years so uh, in 2016 and 17 when i gave the first attempt of my exam i was not able to clear it okay. the main reason i didn't clear it was because it was very uh, it was very different from our indian exams okay we usually 
have to you know we have a standard set of textbooks go through it standard set of articles you know you'll be able to clear it because this question will be quite straightforward classify composites classify rotary instruments uh you know designs of rotary instruments it's going to be very straightforward but here it was all practical based questions they were very uh, uh you know problem based learning questions which we were not trained that way and although the questions were easy and simple but the way we answer it the way we prepare for it is very different so, um also they expect you to have a basic understanding of many other components of dentistry as well like restorative dentistry uh general dentistry emergency medicine so these components again we we would have studied somewhere in first year second year or maybe third year of bds uh, we we don't ex- we are not expected to study too much of this in mds right so the basic science uh, again we had to basic sciences yeah basic sciences okay. and in particular certain uh, aspects uh, of diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and um, you know uh, osteoporosis and a few other medical conditions which are very common and prevalent in the uk mm-hmm. are not very common in india so we are not very prepared to see the dental consequences of these diseases so mm-hmm. again you need to know what are the prevalent diseases in the uk so for this you definitely have to speak to someone who has already given this exam you need to see some old question papers okay you need to uh, discuss some cases with the you know old uh, uh, old cases and because most of the question that they ask in these exams are repeats okay right okay. so i didn't know any of these things when i gave the exam the first attempt it was literally like you know you know shooting uh, arrows in the dark i was not hitting the target so obviously i failed um and uh, luckily i made some good friends there and uh, we were able to Uh, who were able to guide me for my second attempt and uh, uh, thanks to the guidance i was able to clear my second attempt and uh, when i came back i realized that nobody in india is uh, able to help other uh, people who are trying to give this exam so we thought okay why don't we help other people and we started uh, helping unofficially and then now we officially help them through royal green Amazing. right so uh, we basically train for uh, m endo exams m perio exams the m pros exams uh and m mort exams as of now Amazing. right so we have official trainers who have cleared these exams and uh, they have invested a lot of uh, energy and time into this and they have been training the candidates uh, in clearing this exam super so this is a very wonderful uh, initiative and uh, people who are watching so please reach out to him i'll be sharing his email id and other contact details so anytime uh, at the end of the video you can reach out to him feel free and all that So my next question, sir, uh, what are the other possibilities with your M and O qualification? One is you can go abroad right. and practice and all that you said. Is there anything else which you can do which uh, with the M and O? Right. So um, M and O gives you uh, first of all an international recognition. Second is it uh, gives you an access to the uh, Royal College uh, repository of uh, webinars and articles. a uh, lot of uh, good journals like bdj and uh, the surgeon and etc will be available to you okay if it's important to you i think surgeons especially will be uh, quite uh, fascinated by the amount of uh, data they have because it's a very surgically oriented uh, college okay. um apart from that uh, you get this post nominal you can uh, put this against mds which has a lot of uh, weightage um it it helps you boost your own confidence that's one thing i would uh, definitely, really, definitely. Uh, say yeah. because it's yeah because uh, at you know 10 years you back the, MBS, you get to know what uh, how endo is done in other parts of the world and you know you get yes. to meet the highest yes. standards of care for the patients as well as yes. the protocols and uh, practice which yes. is absolutely so yes yeah you you get a lot of contacts and uh, uh um uh, see one, one of the main benefits what i frankly got from the exam was uh, my uh, way of thinking clinically mm-hmm. uh, what happened was uh, uh you know we always give treatment plan based on our, our own biases and our own uh, previous knowledge and expertise uh, but when you prepare for an exam like this you study a lot of evidence based dentistry and you start to realize that a lot of things that you were thinking are wrong okay and uh it's good to correct yourself and good to give an open uh data to the patient like so for example if there's an open apex case 
I would tell my uh, patient that you know we can do three things: we can do calcium hydroxide epoxification, MD epoxification, or I can do revascularization. Mm -hmm. What to choose is dependent on you know the thickness of the dentinal wall. So I would recommend if it, if it's very thin, I would recommend revascularization, or I would rather recommend him MD epoxification all the other time because. MT epoxification, according to you know Dugal in 2016, there's a systematic review saying that they have a 90 percent success rate. Okay. So, which is not which is not proven in revascularization. Mm -hmm. So, when you give the success rates of different treatment plans to my patient, uh, to your patient, you'll be able to you know uh, uh, one you know you, patient will be will make an informed decision. Second is they get more trust trust on their you know doctor. So. Um, my entire uh, consultation process and my practice actually changed after I uh, gave this exam. So uh, there was a serious shift or an internal shift in my way of behavior. So uh, that's probably the main uh, outcome of this exam, right? Uh, apart from that, I think uh, apart from the post nominals and the uh, things you uh, and and uh, access to the library, uh, you also get. Uh, I think uh, uh, some travel grants and uh, uh, access to a few international conferences, which okay. will be at a nominal cost. Yeah. yeah. So these are the benefits of being a member. And do you have centers in India to take up the exam or you have to go to the uh, foreign center sir, for MNDO? Okay. So uh, there are two colleges mainly which are giving, which are providing this exam. One is Edinburgh. Okay. Second is England, Glasgow. England and Glasgow are combined. Okay, so they are uh, by college exam. Edinburgh is a standalone uh, examination. Uh, Edinburgh happens in Dubai and Edinburgh, so it happens twice a year. Once in Dubai, once in Edinburgh. Usually September and November. Um, the England exam happens in England only, but nowadays they are making it online. Also, after COVID has come, there is an online option as well. Okay. 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 But still, we don't recommend the England exam because it's it's, it's a little more difficult to clear and it's not very uh, easy for the international students to uh, go for this exam because it's it's a very lengthy paper and uh, your English and everything is gauged. Oh. Whereas in Edinburgh, they're more friendly with the international students because, as you know, people in the Middle East, their English is um, uh, sometimes not very uh, you know clear, and uh, the Edinburgh people are quite accommodating. They don't mind so. I would recommend Edinburgh over the other two, and it happens uh, outside India. Okay, so it's uh, really a great uh, initiative by you, sir, because considering the present generation, I don't want to blame them, but probably they are misguided. They switch careers and all. They don't realize yeah. that dental itself is an amazing speciality, but just that it takes time. That's all. It's going to take yes. time for you to do time. whatever you want to. But uh, very wonderful yeah. initiative, sir. Is there anything else you want to add on? Before we conclude the interview, sir, something you want to more uh, so present generation students. Uh, right. So, uh, like you rightly said, people are not persisting in their uh, uh, in their fields because uh, you know they they get misguided and they don't have a perseverance. Okay, perseverance comes out of uh, love towards what you do, and uh, I think we all there's a lot of things in the industry where you can start loving it. Absolutely. You know, it's not it's not that. It's only this, that, this. There's almost every the, the, everything in dentistry. You can choose what you like, and you know, uh, become, uh, you know, start loving it. And you should be persistent in what you do because, uh, you know, it's not all about money at the end of the day. Of course, in dentistry, you can make a lot of money. Uh, you'll be a very successful uh, person. Uh, but it takes time. You need to be persistent. And apart from money, always think about the larger picture. Like Steve Jobs says, uh, "Why are we here? We are not here just to." Uh, eat, live, and just survive, right? We are here to put a dent in the universe. We are here to make a change in the world. So dentistry gives you a lot of options for that. And uh, uh, Royal Colleges, these exams will definitely help you go one step further Absolutely. to your dream, right? So thank you, Vinay. Thank you for your uh, uh, invite. And uh, it was a pleasure talking to you. You too, sir. Thank you so much for your valuable time. And is it okay if I can share your email ID and contact details at the end of the Absolutely. video? Yeah. Okay. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you, sir. Nice talking. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.